All right, today we're gonna to tackle a problem that I have. Uh, actually, it's not a problem, it's just an opportunity to correct it. <laughs> um, as you see, I, I went ahead and painted the uh, transmission. I got it back from the transmission guys. If I knew about this prior to, I would have had them do it, but since they're already done and I don't wanna get charged 300 bucks to do it, um, I'm gonna do it myself. And it doesn't seem that hard. Uh, I'm going to credit Munster Transmission out there. I, I saw their video, so I'm going to go ahead and do a video so I can just share the knowledge that they shared so I can push it out, and you guys can um, maybe, if you run into this problem, you can uh, square it away like I'm going to do. But anyways, the problem is uh, this is a 02 Camaro, and the engine is from an 03 Yukon. O2 Camaro had a smaller shaft, linkage shaft, neutral safety switch linkage shaft, and it had this little lever on here, and I think the neutral safety switch went up into the steering column or something like that. I'm not sure where it was, but I want to use what was on the Yukon, which is this neutral safety switch. The only thing I need to do is put a longer shaft in, so we got to open up this switch it out and then put everything button everything back up so that's what we're going to do i'm going to start off by removing the 15 millimeter nut pull this little lever off flip it over take off all the uh bolts and then we're going to remove three pieces switch out the shaft and put it back on and hopefully nothing goes wrong <laughs> so let's get started All right, you can see the inside. Wow, that looks really nice and clean, too. <laughs> uh, but um, this is called the, uh, what is it, the uh, tensioner bar. We're going to remove this. It's a 13 millimeter. It's a tensioner bar. Um, goes back and forth. It holds the tension on as you shift uh, this lever. We're going to move this lever this lever, this clip, and this uh, 15 millimeter nut to get this shaft out. So we're gonna move this, loosen the nut so it goes all the way down to this point, and then we'll remove the uh, clip. Go ahead and straighten everything out, remove the clip, and then uh, pull it out, pull the nut off, and make sure when you're doing this, because I'm, uh, I got this tilted on its side, I don't want it to fall inside. Um, just make sure you uh, be careful not to lose the nut inside. Now, if you're doing this underneath your car, it's because it probably falls straight down. But uh, let's get started. All right, so if you can see it, this clip is like just, it's just like a horseshoe. It's just clamping over like that. Uh, you just get a, a, a pick and pull it out. Make sure you don't drop that either. But we're gonna work on the bolt right now. Okay, here's the difference between the two shafts. The old one, the new one. So everything's going to work out. And this is, a, it's kind of a castle nut. Uh, just make sure the 
the slits or the castle part is pointed downward when you put this back in. Again, remember not to drop this in there because if you look inside, it just goes back into a chasm of, oh crap. Here's the uh, tensioner and here's that clip. And when you put it back on, you can put it back on with your fingers or you get it, set it on there and then grab it just a large uh, three quarter inch or something, whatever, and just pop it on. And that's all it is. But let's put everything back together. Hey, real quick, this is the old shaft on just a point. If you can see it, see it. See this flat part right here? There's another flat part on the other side. <clears throat> when you slide the shaft in, make sure that's all seated down there because that's what actually connects to this uh, lever, 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 and uh, will make it turn as uh, the, the car, uh, you shift it through the gears. Because if it's not seated, it won't turn this uh, lever. As you can see, the, I just put it in so everything seems to be working. The only thing we got left is the clip and the uh, tensioner, and we should be done. All right, that's it uh, for all the parts put back on. This is the uh, tensioner bar. The, there's like a L-shaped, you just stick it right in. There's no threads in this uh, port right here. And it's ten, uh, 13 millimeter. And as you can see that uh, it works fine. The roller goes across. It's a little tight because it's all pretty much brand new. Um, and uh, the working of the, I'm gonna call it a pump, I don't know. This arm is fine, and the clip, uh, just got to get it on there, and then you can push it further on with, uh, you know, just a wrench. So let's put the, uh, the casing back on. When you're going to put this back on, go ahead and start in the four corners, or close to the, close to the four corners, uh, just to make, you, you know, even pressure, and then just rotate all the way around. That's what I'm going to do. All right, everything's buttoned up. Uh, the bolts holding the pan, I think it's uh, 13 to 15 foot pounds. I did 13 pounds. Should be good to go. Remember, even pressure, so start on the four corners and then go all the way around. Uh, here's the uh, neutral safety switch. All right, everything lines up. I don't have the bolts. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> But uh, everything lined up, and I think this piece right here comes off after you set it. So then I can put the, the bolt on. Just temporarily slide it on there. Anyways, that's it. Um, that's how you switch it out, the shaft. 
Uh, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them in, uh, below, and I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time on Alien Rest of My Garage.